So I am all about travel hacking. That is the process by which you apply for various and sundry credit cards, get the bonus, and then use those bonus points or bonus miles to travel. So I'm always on the lookout for a new card. And recently I got an email that said that the Choice Privileges Select MasterCard is offering a 90,000 point limited time offer. So I questioned, is this worth the effort to get the card? And what I came up with actually sort of surprised me. Generally, when people think about the Choice Hotels reward program, they're thinking about budget hotels like Quality Inn, Comfort Inn, or even Econo Lodge. Well, recently, the Choice Hotels group has joined with Radisson, and some of those hotels are a little more luxurious than what people might be accustomed to when looking at the Choice Hotels program. So there's been a bit of an upgrade. There's also the Ascend Collection, which has been brought on board, and some of those hotels are great. Some of the ones I'm going to look at in this video are tied to the Ascend Collection, and I'll show you exactly how many nights you might be able to expect in certain locations if you choose to use your Choice Privileges points and if you decide to sign up for this bonus. Here we have the Choice Hotels page that looks at the credit cards that they have available. You'll have a little link from the home page up to this Our Credit Cards. And if we scroll down, we'll see the limited time offers. It doesn't exactly say when the offer is going to be removed from what I can really tell. However, there is sort of a base credit card, the Choice Privilege MasterCard. And the higher level credit card is the Choice Privileges Select MasterCard. I'm going to focus on the Select. And it says here for a limited time, earn 90,000 bonus points, as you can see. You'll have to spend $3,000 in purchases for the first three months the card is open. It notes that you'll be able to redeem those 90,000 points, plus you'll get some points from spending the $3,000. But that could theoretically give you up to 11 reward nights at select choice hotels properties. Obviously, those hotels that you're going to get that will allow you to get 11 free nights will not be the best hotels in the best locations. But to give you an idea that these are not necessarily going to be the best hotels in the best locations, I've looked up Myrtle Beach. I grew up in West Virginia, and for many people, Myrtle Beach was sort of a great vacation getaway. There was a joke that when the mines went on vacation for July 4th, that Myrtle Beach was the largest city in West Virginia, even though it was in South Carolina. So anyway, we got 16 hotels near Myrtle Beach, so you can get to Myrtle Beach. But if you're looking at the locations, uh, you'll notice that even the top tier, the Ascend Collection, that hotel, the Blue Green Vacations Harbor Lights, it's not going to show you a picture of the beach. And that's pretty telling, comfort suites Myrtle Beach Central, that's not going to have picture of the beach. None of them are actually looking like oceanfront properties. And if they were oceanfront, oceanfront properties, they would be showing pictures of the beach. A quick look at the Blue Green Vacations Harbor Lights Hotel, which was the highest or the first that showed up on the search for Myrtle Beach, we can see that indeed it is not on the coastline. It is on the intercoastal waterway, which isn't bad, but it's not like having beachfront property. We can scroll down and we'll get an idea. They do have a pool as an amenity, but they have a list of how many points it'll take to actually redeem these rooms. And you can see that on Sunday through Thursday, you'll have to spend 20,000 points per room and Friday and Saturday it'd be 25,000 points per room. And that would be roughly about three to five nights. I'm saying five, even though the bonus is 90,000 points by spending dollars, you're probably going to get up close to a hundred thousand. So you could theoretically get four nights from using this bonus. This isn't to say that there aren't beachfront properties elsewhere in the world. For example, this is the Shoreline Hotel in Donabate, which is close to Dublin, Ireland. I just stayed there in recent months. And you can see they do have a picture of the beach and 
you know, the map shows that it's right on the beach. I was there. I can verify it was on the beach. Um, we can look down here and see how many points it's going to take. And again, it's going to take between 20,000 and 25,000 points per night if it's available. So the nights that I have listed here, um, which is just random nights in October, what I would consider the off season, it's not available at that time. But still, you can get this and redeem nights probably three to five nights if you're going to Dublin. Hawaii is another popular vacation destination. So here we have the Kohea Kai Maui, which is another one of the Ascend Hotel collection. And we can see that it is going to cost you around $239, maybe more depending on the room selection you have. But you can see here it's right on the beach and you can get it with points. Um, so if you want like a suite, you're going to pay $400. But if you want just a king bed with a garden room, $239. And it's going to cost you, if we scroll down, 30,000 points per night. So your 90,000 point bonus from the Choice Privileges Select Card is going to give you three nights at this hotel. If we go with the lower end of the Maui Hotel in the Choice Privileges Collection, it costs $239 per night. You're going to pay some taxes with that. So roughly, you're going to be saving at least $720 if you choose that hotel and earn the bonus with the Choice Privileges card. That's not bad. Hopefully you're finding this content very informational. If you are, if you wouldn't mind, it won't cost you a thing. Just go down there and ever so gently tap that like button. Also, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel. That will help the information to get out to more people. And also you'll be informed if you hit that little notification bell. When the next video comes online, I talk about travel hacking. I also talk about other things that are tied to personal finance. So if that's something that interests you, be sure to subscribe. So now we've seen a couple of examples of how you might be able to redeem your choice privileges points with the select MasterCard bonus that you're going to get if you decide to apply for the card, get accepted, and then charge enough to get the bonus. So anyway, there's a $95 annual fee. The first year's waived. This is one of those cards you can try out for a year. And if you see that it doesn't fit your needs, you can get the bonus up front and then cancel and not have to pay the annual fee. When you stay at Choice Hotels, any of the hotels in the portfolio, uh, or at least participating hotels within the portfolio, you'll get up to 22 points per dollar that you spend, which is a pretty good earning rate. Additionally, you'll get five points on purchases at gas stations, grocery stores, home improvement stores, and phone plans from landline and cell phone providers. You will earn a point per dollar spent on everything else, which is not great. There are other options that will earn you more points, although they won't go to the Choice Hotels uh, program necessarily unless Choice Hotels is a transfer partner. I know that some of the transferable currencies, I believe Capital One is one that you can transfer to Choice Hotels. But anyway, every year you'll get a 30,000 point bonus if you decide to pay the annual fee. And that will get you up to three reward nights. They start at 8,000 points, I believe. And also that could get you one night at one of those hotels like the one in Hawaii that we were looking at. You can get a credit of $100 for global entry and TSA pre-check, one or the other. You get platinum status and platinum status gives you some bonuses, no foreign currency conversion fee. So that's another good thing that you can get out of this card. So you can use it overseas as long as they take MasterCard and you don't have to pay that foreign transaction fee. Again, $95 annual fee. You can try it out, but if you want the 30,000 bonus points and you can get more value than $95 out of that, that's fine as well. So now the question comes up, would I actually personally apply for the Choice Privileges MasterCard at this point? And I probably wouldn't. And the reason for that is Choice Privileges is probably about number five on my list of hotel programs that I usually use. Now, occasionally I'll be on the road and find a good deal at a Comfort Inn or something and I'll stay, but usually I'm looking to stay at Marriott. I'm a Lifetime Platinum member there or Hilton, Hyatt, or Holiday Inn. And that would be IHG Group. So those are ones that I use more 
frequently. And if I have bonuses that I could get at one of those, I would probably opt to get one of those credit cards before the choice privileges card. But if you're going to places that have choice hotels, or if you want to go to a certain property, there's nothing wrong with getting this bonus. Um, so anyway, hopefully that helps you get an idea of what you can get from the choice hotels. MasterCard, as I said before, at least $700 or so you could get bonuses that benefit you that much. Uh, I will leave a link in the description below to this hotel credit card as well well as one from Marriott and another from Capital One, which I believe you can transfer over to Choice Hotels. Now, um, the latter two, I could get you know, a bonus from it. You'll get the same sign-up bonus that anybody publicly would get, but I will get a referral link from that. So if you could do that, that would be great. Anyway, if you found this entertaining or educational in any way and want to see more content like it, be sure to very gently tap the like button and also hit subscribe and click the bell. And thanks for watching.